Milk, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another garden project. So in our run of fun shed projects, I have planted a few things. I'm still in the midst of my foundation plantings and projects for the shed. I still need to put compost down and I have a few more plants, but where there are plants, there needs to be water or these guys will die. And I really don't want to have to bring a watering can down here every single day for the foreseeable future to water these things, especially since this is a very hot part of the yard and things like hydrangeas need a lot of water. So since this is not my front yard, this is my side yard, I don't have a spigot over here, a faucet that I can just set up a hose or run drip to. I am running water all the way from my back faucet around the side of my house over to the shed. This water is going to give me a hose and it's going to give me a spot where I can hook up drip irrigation, both for these foundation plantings, my little garden bed in front of the shed, and eventually for my raised garden beds. Now I could run all of this off of the front faucet. Um, in fact, I have drip that runs right through here that I could just tap into, but you don't want to go too far with one drip system. Um, it, it will stop losing water pressure. Things won't be getting as much water. Plus my front system is for my containers, my window boxes, my pots, things like that. Those things don't need near as much water as these foundation plants do, or like the vegetables and fruits will in my raised beds. So I don't want to put them on the same zone. It makes more sense to set up a new system for these plants that need a lot more water for a zone that needs to run a lot longer. So instead of setting up my entire drip system and hoses and just buying crazy long hoses, that will come off of my back door, which I cannot access from out here. I have to go all the way in the house, all the way out back. I am running a lead hose, so just a long hose from my back door all the way over here. And I'm going to use this. So you can get anything from one of these faucets on a stick, um, which is a hose stand, to a four by four post that you add your own faucet to, to move your water to where you want it. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put this over by the side of my house, and this will give me a faucet that I can access from out here. I can add a four way diverter from this, that I can run hoses off of, that I can run a drip zone to the shed and a drip zone to the vegetable garden. Um, this will divert the load from my front faucet, split the load between two faucets, and it will give me a much better way to access water from the shed. So if you need to divert water from where your faucet is, if it's not a convenient spot, or if where you need it is just a long way away, something like this is a great, easy, affordable way to do it. This was $21 last night, just popped over the big box store and picked it up. Uh, they had a couple different designs in stock even. So I am going to go inside and I'm going to hook up my hose to my faucet by my back door. And then we're gonna come out and we're gonna hook this up so that I can water these guys because they haven't had any water today. <laughs> Let's go inside real quick. Okay, so ignore my messy dog stairs, but this is the faucet and all, literally all I've done here is connected the hose and turned it on and made sure it was really tight. Goes under the stairs here, past the dogs, and over to the shed. Now I think, I don't want the hose running on the ground, so I don't want the dogs messing with it. So I think what I'm gonna do is put up PVC pipe around waist height here so that it'll blend into the house and run the hose through the pvc pipe and you can see the end here so we're going to go over to the shed and hook it up on that side to our faucet on a stick and uh 
and then we will have water out by the shed. We'll be able to water all the pretty things. Um, and we are going to set up drip out there as well so that everything will be automated. We'll have drip on one side for the shed, another one for the raised beds when we put those in, and uh, just a hose so that I can water things. But for now, step one complete. On to step two. Okay, so we're back out by the shed. You can see where we are from where I showed you on the inside. Here's the hose. Ran it all the way across. It'll be so much better once I get a PVC pipe put up, but in the meantime, this will work fine. So I'm going to put this guy right here. I think that's better. It was pretty kink trying to go up and over. Now I will leave this up to the PVC pipe here, but the whole point of the PVC, PVC pipe is A, to conceal the hose, but B, it's just to keep it out of reach of my dog. So, you know, it's not necessary, but if you're trying to keep it from your dogs, there you go. So now, if that faucet was on, this faucet, could literally just spew water everywhere. I have another hose that we're going to hook up and we're just going to, to for today, hook it directly to here and use it to water the plants. Um, I will, like I said, set drip up to this. And in that place, I have a four-way diverter in my car um, and I will use that. But for today, we're just setting up a hose, simple, easy, to the point. We will set up drip a separate day. Now, if you want more information on setting up drip, I've set up the drip system at my house to all of my potted plants, um, window boxes, my stock tank garden, the whole nine yards. So I will link to that video down below. We've also set up drip to an entire garden bed over at my mom's house. So if you wanna see how to set it up, either out in the landscape for a big garden bed or for pots, I will link to both of those separate videos below so you can check it out. Oh, you can hear me over the air conditioner because it is going. I'm trying to speak up, but I guess if this is a voiceover, you're not even listening. <laughs> okay, I should have cut through that tape inside, but whatever. This is my favorite brand of hose. I've got them everywhere. I do really want a hose link for right here, but you have to save up for one of those. And in lieu of a hose link that's retractable, I like these ones that are um, not rigid. So, let's see what we got. I wanted to just plop it on there, but that's not the way they're coiled, so. Oh, well. All right, so part A. Part B. I'm going to put this one with a nozzle sprayer.
All right. Y'all stay there. I'm going to go turn the faucet on, and we will hope that this baby just cranks up, pressurizes, and we can start spraying. school than I'd like, so I'm probably going to get a different nozzle. But, have water, it's working. And that was the goal. All this rain is going to make people in the bottom of this shed white hard.
Well, I think once I get a little compost in, top dress everything so that it holds the moisture better, it'll be great. And especially once I get drip in, that'll be perfect because then I won't have to spray. But for now, so much easier than hauling a watering can down here. So if you have a situation like mine where your water is really far away, this is an easy, efficient, cost-effective way to get water where you need it and a couple minutes or less. So I'm pretty happy with myself right now. Yep. I do think I will probably sink this pole into the ground a little bit more, maybe with the help of my brother when he comes over. But for the meantime, I just put a brick next to it and that'll hold it straight. Of course, the weight of the hose with the water on it is heavy. So it needs to be far enough in the ground that it's not going to be top heavy. But so far, so good. Yeah, just a little, sink it a little more and we're good to go. But. I hope you guys liked this video. It was quick and easy. I almost didn't make it. I almost just put it in, but it took me a while to figure this out. So I've never needed to get water this far before. So I figured if I had this question, y'all probably did too. So I hope this helps somebody and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.